Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. In this video, I want to uh, discuss the CC1 paper of Physics on Earth under the University of Calcutta in the year of question 2021. This is the part, first part and in this part we will want to discuss question number 1 uh, of A to G. Okay. So you can see this is a question of University of Calcutta 2021 Physics on Earth first semester CC1 paper. This is the Mathematical Physics 1. Look at this question and try to solve this question. This is question number 1 A to G. Then question number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the total question paper who is asked in 2021. In this video, why just uh, look into the question number 1 and the upcoming video will be look forward the, the for, uh, others question, forwarded question. First question says, evaluate this limit. Just you can see. This is 1 plus ax and e to the power minus bx can be written as e to the power bx in this. Now, if you put the x equals to infinity in this upper side, this is also infinity and the lower side also infinity. That is infinity by infinity form. So, in case of 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form, you can use the L hospital rule. So, just put this L hospital rule. That means derivative of this side and derivative of this side separately. So, if you derivative with respect to x, you will be get a only. If you derivative with respect to x, this one will be get b e to the power bx. Now, put into x tends to infinity. You does not get this 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form. So, you can put this value. If you put x equal to infinity, that is exponential infinity, that is infinity in lower side. So, this finally gives you 0. So, the answer of this question is 0. Next question says that so that this function is exact differentiable. So, you can see these two can be taken as like that x dy dx that is x d of x plus y. So, this is wrong y plus z. Please correct this one. This is y plus this is y plus z. Okay. I think you, you can correct this one y plus z. Right. Now, you can see that is uh, this y plus z into dx and this is x into d of y plus z. So, this is d of x into y plus z. So, this can be written in the form of d of f where f is x into y plus z. So, this is a exact differential. Exact differential. Next question say, say, says that check whether the three vectors i cap plus j cap, i cap minus j cap and j cap minus k cap are linearly independent. In case uh, to find out linearly dependent or independent, you can uh, evaluate the wrong skin that is the coefficient of this uh, i cap j cap and k cap. So, this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1, this is minus 1, and j cap is 0. So, that's why this is 0. Here, i cap is 0 uh, is absent that is 0, 1, and minus 1. So, if you evaluate this determinant uh, with respect to this column, you will be get this is minus 1, that into that one, that is minus 1, minus of that into that one. So, you will be get 2, this is not equal to 0. So, these are linearly independent. If these are equal to 0, then they are linearly dependent. Next question. Uh, here, the R vector, F vector are given. You need to find out this uh, identity, uh, this uh, delta function. So, R dot grad operator on f vector so r means x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap dot grad means i cap del del x plus j cap del del y plus k cap del del z uh, operator on f vector so this dot product gives you x del del x plus y del del y plus z del del z operating on this f vector so this gives you x del del x of this one so you will be get 3 x square y i cap and here 2 x z k cap for y, you will be get del del y. So, this is x q i cap and this is 2 y j cap. And for z, this is z into del del z. So, x square k cap. So, you can see if you multiply for in case of i cap, there is x into this. So, 3 x square y i cap and here also x q sorry 3 x q y i cap and here also x q y i cap. Okay. j cap, there is only 1 j cap that is 2 y square j cap and k cap, this is 2 x square z here also x square z k cap so you will be get 4 x q y i cap this is 2 y square j cap and this is 3 x square z k cap so finally you will be get 
this vector of this identity. Next question. So that the area bounded by a simply closed curve C lying in XY plane is given by this one. So this is uh, uh, so uh, just remember the Green's theorem in XY plane that is closed integration of the cyclic uh, of this C boundary m dx plus n dy equal to regional that is areal or surface integration on this partial differential difference x dy dx. If you put m equals to minus 1 and n equal to x, you will be get this partial derivative like that uh, in respect to y, you will be get this minus 1, this is 1. So put in this form m equals to minus y, n equals to x and this one will be get like that. So this is written in reverse form like 1 and this is 2 dx dy. dx dy is integration on this in this in the area of this closed car. So area is half of this one. This is the proof. Next question. Given a unitary matrix U uh, so that this is Hermitian if H is Hermitian. Since U is unitary matrix that is U dagger U equal to U U dagger equal to I. Dagger means transport of complex conjugate. Suppose U, U is a any matrix. First take its complex conjugate that means I replaced by minus I and then take the transport that is row column interchange. So this is the U dagger. And you know u into u inverse is i. So comparing you will be get u dagger equals to u inverse. Okay. That is inverse matrix. And h is Hermitian. Hermitian means h dagger is h. Dagger means transport of complex conjugate. Now take x equal to like that. So taking dagger in both side. x dagger equal to this dagger. And the property of dagger u dagger h dagger in, in the reverse format. The opposite, opposite format. Right. So this u dagger, h dagger and u inverse is nothing but u dagger and you know dagger of dagger means u and put this identity that so u dagger equals to u inverse, h dagger equals to h and you, so you will be get this x since x dagger equal to x so, so this is the Hermitian very simple if there are in any doubt you must comment in the comment box next question find a symmetric matrix A such that Q equal to X dagger is X where Q equal to like that and X equal to X1, X2. So uh, this is the equation put this value of Q and this X dagger. X is X1, X2 in column. So this in, in the uh, row format and taking the S like that is S1, on S1, two, S2, one, S2, two. So it's taking the multiplication of the matrix form, this in multiplied by that one plus that into that. And this S21 multiplied into X1 and S22 multiplied X2. Okay. Then multiply this one and this one, you'll we'll get this one. Since S is the symmetric matrix, so S12 equal to S21. So this gives you 2S1 like that. Just comparing the X1 coefficient square, X2 coefficient square and to uh, x1 x2 you will be get this value of s s11 s12 and s22 so for this value you will be get this symmetric matrix which is transformed like that i think clear if there are in any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get different series related videos some mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from the video Subscribe this channel if you need this channel. Those already subscribed. Thanks for subscription. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. So take care. We'll meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.